So this is, a, this is an overly complicated handshake, but handshakes are how TCP sets up connections. So there is this process. So let's say I want to connect to Greg. I have to say, hey, Greg, are you open for connections? Yes. OK. And then so I send him a packet. I say, I'd like to connect. He says, OK, I'm open for connections. And then I say, OK. So that's how the TCP handshake works. Pretty simple. Pretty much like a somewhat complicated bro type weird multi-part handshake. Um, the goal here is that the client and server agree on a few things during this process. So one of the things that we agree on is uh, where are the sequence summers for our acknowledgments going to start. That's one thing that happens. Uh, we also negotiate a set of ports that we're going to use for this particular connection. Um, one of the things interesting about the TCP handshake is that it requires that I send a packet to Greg. Greg has to send a packet back to me. And then I have to send another packet back to Greg. And all of that has to go on before we can exchange any information. So if Greg is far away, like on the other side of the Earth, there is this penalty that TCP incurs to set up a new connection, which is multiple round trips between the client and the server. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how TCP handshake works.